Hello there, and welcome back to Friend Donkey Play Smackdown Universe Mode. What is up? Tell you what's up, Jose. It's the Go Home Show before the Elimination Chamber. One of the final stops on the road to WrestleMania. Yes. I mean, if this if tonight shows anything like it was last week, I don't think I'll make it to Elimination Chamber. <laughs> I don't think my heart can take it. <laughs> Hell of a week last week in our final qualifying matches, particularly on the men's side. If you uh, if yeah. you haven't seen them, go back and watch last week's episode. You are missing out. I mean, do it now. Do it now. <laughs> do it now. Come on, do, do it. it now. <laughs> but uh, this week. A little bit of a, a slower week ahead of the chamber itself, where the man on your right put in one hell of a performance. It must be said. I mean, so did the man on your left. But... <laughs> so did the man on your left. Um, bit of a. Uh... Oh, it's been a bit bad of blood re- between these two. Well, not necessarily yes. bad blood, but. Sammy obviously uh, the one to take the title from Randy Orton. From yep, strutting to the ring. Orton clearly not done with him. Sami Zayn went up against... If you haven't gone back and watched the week, this is your fault, these spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> Sami Zayn went up against Kevin Owens in a war last week. And that's only barn burner of a match. Yeah. I mean, uh, I'm not surprised, you're surprised it's Kevin and Sammy. Yeah, unfortunately missed out on the opportunity. Didn't come away with the win, so Kevin is in the uh, chamber match. Um, but Sammy still with gold round his waist, still looking to assert his dominance. He is the yeah, continental make, champion. Make a showing here against this man who was successful in his uh, in his campaign. Yeah, the taking down the one and only ring general. With Imperium at ringside as well, single-handedly from St. Louis, dismantling in Gunter in a display we haven't seen since Brock Lesnar. It was, uh, it was, it was a hard-fought battle from both men. I'm surprised yeah. Randy even wants a match this week, but this could be a good idea. Tune up before the chamber, keeping that momentum going. If anyone knows what it takes to go into an elimination chamber and keep your body in peak condition it's randy orton yeah he doesn't want to uh waste a week and seize up he wants to keep that that can't ring, afford that to shot. can't afford to consider he is in the ring with five other superstars yes and obviously uh sammy looking to maybe recover from the loss <sighs> with some great maneuvering already in the ring <laughs> just throwing randy around <laughs> I think neither of these men can be uh, in full physical condition after their their battles last week, so there's no advantage for either man, I'd say, in in this one. No, no, this is just a bit of an exhibition here. Well, you know, Randy hasn't had his his shot at IC gold again. Who knows where that no, could land him with a win much. over with a win over Sammy. Yeah, I mean, maybe uh, Randy's just covering his uh, bases if he should fall uh, short at the Elimination Chamber. Yep. A lot on his plate right now, does Randy Orton. Yes. you got to be thinking as well, taking down a man like Gunter, Imperium ain't going to be... Uh, ain't going to be forgetting that in a hurry. No, he's uh, possibly the second most wanted superstar on the roster after that. First being obviously the uh, double champion, Bianca Belair. <laughs> I thought you were going to say the first being the Chad Gable. <laughs> ah, the Chad Gable is the Chad Gable. <laughs> Not the one Shinsuke Nakamura. <laughs> there's, a, there's a plethora of interesting characters in SmackDown. <laughs> really is. We've cultivated quite the stock of colourful cartoon characters. <laughs> yes. Is that really... Randy... Looking to take it to uh, Sammy on the outside. Here. As we alluded to, Randy will be joining five others in the uh, five other superstars in the chamber. So he will be alongside AJ Styles, Omos, Chad Gable, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Kevin Owens. Yeah. The winner that is... of that match will be fighting for the WWE Championship at WrestleMania. Yes. Yeah. 
and uh, who they will fight will be uh, decided <laughs> also decided <laughs> at the Elimination Chamber as Drew McIntyre will take on Cody Rhodes and we'll actually see Cody Rhodes in a uh, action later on this evening yep looking forward to that one yeah first time we'll have seen the champ since he uh, took gold from Drew hmm and speaking of the main event of WrestleMania as well, um, the Royal Rumble winner, Goldberg, has yet to make his announcement as to who he will be facing, as to which belt he's got his sights set on. He kind of wants to see how the Elimination Chamber goes, whether he'll be targeting Raw's world champion or SmackDown's champion as Randy hits the RKO. Strong RKO, but a rope break. Rope break. RK rope, rope break. We saw rope break cost Randy uh, when he tried to hit Gunther with the RKO. But Randy maybe a bit rusty on where to hit the RKO. He very nearly lost the match against Gunther as he sort of thought about the RKO and Gunther really punished him for it. Oh yeah, you can't you can't second guess anything that you do against Gunther as Sammy busted open. For the second time in two weeks. Week. Yeah, yeah, fresh that wounds. Wound reopened. Up to the top ropes. Sammy not going to uh, not going to take this one lying down. Big old fisherman suplex there. As he hits the second rope, DDT. It's starting to build some momentum now. Kevin Owens hitting a lot of those on him last week. Clearly, they are in each other's wheelhouse. Yeah, they've uh, they've taken the toll. Sammy but quite slow this week. Perhaps, as you mentioned, still feeling the effects of that war with Kevin Owens as Randy takes an uncharacteristic trip to the top rope Ooh, and that's why because he misses he does could be the opening Sammy needs but that's just showing how much it means to Randy Orton to keep that momentum going to keep picking up those victories en route to potentially picking up a title he's had a uh, tumultuous year so definitely good to keep that winning momentum going when it happens true that yeah looks to reassert his dominance on this match over let me say stomp to the hand that methodical side of Orton coming in once again Sammy stunned in the middle of the ring could be Orton narrowing in there. Looking for the big old power slam. Closing in, going to the. Uh, oh, I thought he was going to the top rope again. Going to that place as he hits the punt kick on Sami Zayn. Putting everyone in that chamber on notice. And miraculously, Sami Zayn kicks out of it. Showing us why he is a IC champion. These two. I'm surprised they have enough to do all of this this week after last week's. I'm surprised Sammy kicked out of that kick. That usually puts superstars on the shelf, but Sammy looking for oh. the high risk maneuver, and that's why they call it high risk. Yeah, perhaps Scramble didn't quite see his uh, his quarry as he leaped. Big uppercut there from Randy Orton. Orton, flurry of punches now, really setting off. Teeing off on uh, Sami Zayn. Sami, yet another return. If now, not off reversals. Sami's had a few losses since winning the IC title, but the matches he's been putting on are spectacular. Really holding down that division well. Mm. You've got to think anyone that wants to challenge him, they're going to have to uh, really bring their A game. As he's dazed and confused on the outside. Oh, and possibly looking for a count out here. Save some energy for the pay-per-view. A win by technicality is still a win as he hits the Luthers press. Yep. You've got to think it's nice to get a momentum and keep the winning streak going into the pay-per-view. But the longer this goes, the harder it's going to be at the pay-per-view. Does Randy need to cut his losses as Re as Sammy hits the Haluva kick? Out of nowhere. Taking a page out of Randy's book. That could be all she wrote, folks, as Sammy Zayn picks up the victory. Why. So 
Sami Zayn picked up the uh, victory over Orton. Sami needed that as well, it must be said. And a uh, bit of a technical difficulties. No. Oh. That's not technical difficulties. That's Damien, That's Damien Priest. Priest. <laughs> <laughs> Talking of out of nowhere. Yeah. I was just saying that if anyone wants to challenge um, Sami Zayn for that title, they're going to have to bring it. And uh, I think Damien Priest may have brung it. We've got his sights set well and truly on Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn with a, an impressive win over Randy Orton, but wasn't yeah. expecting Priest. Well, a loss for Randy Orton there. Not the end of the world. He's already got his ticket punched in the Elimination Chamber. Um, could, could halt his momentum, but we'll see. Yep. An important win for Sammy. Yeah. This next match to determine a potential number one contender for Bianca Belair's Liberty title. We've got Liv Morgan yeah. taking on Alba Fire. The winner being Alba Fire. So at some yeah. point down the line, Alba Fire will get a shot at Belair for the Liberty Gold. As we see uh, Cody Rhodes in a, uh, action against an Angelo Dawkins. Again, Dawkins conspicuous by his absence since War Games, really. Haven't really seen him they, since the loss. I think the, the locker room team took it a hard, a hard loss they did. They have done. They have, but they're looking to get back into the ring. Yeah. Shake off that ring rust. And uh, this is a hell of a way to try and shake off the ring rust. Stepping into the ring with the WWE Champion. Yeah. Cody Rhodes, uh, an impressive WWE Champion. The way he won that title at Royal Rumble was, uh, yeah, impressive. I've said it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he earned uh, a couple of weeks off in the run-up to Chamber with all the uh, qualifying matches. Yeah. Had a bit of time to put his feet up, but he's looking to come out this evening and... Making his way to the ring. Yeah, Atlanta, Georgia, I mean, he still he still does have that edge, pounds, lest we forget. WWE yes, yeah, he's a changed Cody from the Cody at the beginning of the season. He's got that main streak. Cody he's clearly got that uh, bit between his teeth to fight his way all the way back up to get World Championship gold. And uh, on. Hey, he he made it. <laughs> He really has done, making his first entrance as WWE Champion. And he looks good with that belt. You saw it here first, folks. Yeah. <laughs> Ahead of WrestleMania 40 this year. <laughs> He's already finished yeah, the story here. Yeah, why wait? You know. Actually, I'm thinking about the, uh, the release schedule. Will it be before Mania? Oh, it'll be before Mania. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you worry Just about that. <laughs> Oh, just sort of skip Dawkins' intro. We've seen Dawkins before. This is a non-title yeah. match, so uh, no no worries of Cody dropping his belt to Angelo Dawkins here this evening. Not that no, that was ever uh, a concern. Not that we're selling he's still Dawkins definitely short in the match against Drew McIntyre at the Elimination Chamber. Yep. <laughs> and, uh, just looking for a warm-up, although, as we saw just a moment ago, with Sammy beating Orton, the warm-up match may not be the best thing at times. <laughs> We've seen that quite a lot of this series, you know, and Superstars are going to get a bit of momentum before the match, ends up losing. <laughs> this is very true, this is very true. But then true. they pull it out of the bag at the pay-per-view, where it matters, you know, where gold yes, on the let line. Us for, let us not forget about the big strong boy, lost yep. to Omos and then beat Brock Lesnar. Does <laughs> <laughs> they uh... A little spin there from Dawkins. Yeah. A smart choice by opponent here uh, for Cody. Uh, Dawkins, obviously, a big man. And, yeah. Uh, similar contest build. against Drew. He's a uh, similar stature, so. Big cross body as he just sort of <laughs> changes yeah. direction. Decides where he wants to land. <laughs> yep. Still to the left. There we go. Ooh, Big old the face. face. Looking to uh, make a good showing as uh, his first match as WWE Champion. That must still feel very weird to him, the fact that he is 
at the top of the mountain. Yeah, he sort of uh, almost came out of nowhere. I mean, he, he definitely earned his spot in that match. Only the he, fourth uh, man to hold second gold. time by taking out the Rumble. <laughs> the fourth man to hold gold all season. A very prestigious belt. Yeah. It has to be said. We have Gunter. We have Brock. We have Tyler Bates. We have Gunter again. <laughs> oh no, we have Drew. Yeah, he's the fifth we man. Have Drew. Yep. Good man, yep. I tell a lie. I stand corrected. And we have Drew and now we have Cody Rhodes. And Dawkins teeing off on Rhodes here. A pinball victory over Cody has got to get Dawkins uh, a hell of a lot of momentum. He'll it's definitely be getting noticed with that. Yeah. And, and that's probably why he's coming out with such vigour here. Choosing to leave Montez in the back as well. Yeah, well, we haven't seen Montez since uh, War Games. We've seen Montez try to make singles. Yeah, I think it might have been. We've seen Montez try to make singles action before as Dawkins hits the power bomb. This is no Cody kicking out there. <laughs> Cody looking uh, somewhat in trouble here against Dawkins. They were worse for wear. Not the, uh, not the debut match as champion. I think he was looking for. Clearly, still tired from the from the rumble, as he looked for the disaster kick, but just no one there. Mm. That's a rare misstep by Cody. Can lock on the cross break, the cross face, and again the the road break. It's Cody's all over the place. Yeah, he uh, needs to start focusing up. He needs to go up against Drew McIntyre at the weekend. Because we've seen what happened with Drew McIntyre when he's fighting for gold. He was the one that ripped the title off of Gunter. He's an Alabama slammer. Not enough to put Dawkins away, though. Just a one count. Cody wants to take a breather. Cody's okay. struggling here tonight. Cody for it. Uh, those uh, couple of weeks off have not helped him. Yeah. And Dawkins hungry. Hungry to uh, get back onto the show. One half the uh, Street Profits, who took the fight to Imperium. The uh, only other team to hold tag gold. Speaking of which, that could change this evening as Imperium will be defending their belts. Yes. In the main event. Against a, uh, a new team. Yeah. Who fancy their chances against Imperium? We look forward to that one later on. Dawkins with the power bomb, looking for the this could be it. for the pin. And your it winner, is Dawkins, upset on the world champion. But he is still the world champion. Obviously, was a non-title match. And swaggering to the ring. He has arrived. Drew McIntyre's officially on SmackDown. I think we need to fire the sound guy because he's playing Cody Rhodes' music and not Drew's. <laughs> yeah, well, well, we'll have words with him. We'll have words. Drew making, uh, making no bouts about it. He wants that title. And he after that display forgotten. we just saw from Cody, I don't think that he will have much trouble taking it. Cody's got nothing to be feeling smug about there. No. Speaking I mean, of the main event, though. Dawkins, but that was a... Uh, well, that an was upset. an upset, to say the least. Yeah, definition of the word upset. Dawkins pinning Cody Rhodes. Yeah. The main event of Can the evening. Can upset happen? And this the is the... Uh, brand new team. Team Hyphens. Prime <laughs> time. Making their way to the ring. Logan Paul and The Miz. I mean, you wouldn't lose them, would you? <laughs> <laughs> Miz has clearly uh, ditched the baggage of Grayson Waller and found a kindred spirit in Logan Paul. Yeah. Uh, shades and high Bang. enthusiast. Well, all of Miz Bang wasn't flashy enough. <laughs> no. Both competitors wearing Pokemon cards to the ring. Are they both wearing Pokemon cards? Uh, no, they're not. For some reason, Miz is, but Logan Paul isn't. Ah. 
I think at one point these two were a tag team, and I think that Pokemon card is supposed to be Logan Paul's Pokemon card. Yeah, okay. But it's clearly not a Pokemon card because, you know. No, yeah, because branding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because 2K. <laughs> it's a Power World card. <laughs> but coming out in force, deciding to join them at ringside, the ring general. Yes, after oh, his uh hanging his head in shame a little bit there. His loss to Randy last week has sort of uh knocked him. Well you'd think so, but he's still confidently leading his troops into their title match, it must be said as well. Yes, yeah. Well, I mean, he's got to put on a brave face. He doesn't... Imperium <laughs> don't want to lose all the gold. No, not at all. But could this be, again, you know, Imperium getting too big for their boots? There's a new team. They fancy a shot at the tag champions. They want a shot at the gold, and the tag champions have granted them the match. This wasn't management. This was an Imperium We've decision. Before. We've seen it before with a new team coming in. Obviously, uh, when... The Street Profits first showed up. They were able to take the gold from Imperium. Mm. But we've seen other teams come in not be able to get the job done. Like the Usos, the Creeds. Uh, Gallows and Addison. Well, and Gallows and Addison have been here since the beginning, really. But oh, Gallows and Addison true, fought yeah. their way to the to the top and didn't manage to get the job done. Yeah, Im- Imperium have been an absolute force to be reckoned with. Yep. One of only two teams to hold the belt this season. I mean, that's incredible. <laughs> but with the watchful eyes of Gunter in their corner, could that be pressure that they don't need? Well, we saw it last time. After Gunther disappeared, that's what cost, I think, personally, Imperial the sh- being belts against uh, the Street Profits. But now that Gunther's sticking around... This could be a good sign for Imperium. True. They were ringside at his match last week, which he lost. But he's we saw a number of distractions that almost cost Randy the win. Yep, which made his win even more impressive, if you think about it. True, true. And their opponents have a combined weight of 440 pounds. They are the Tag Team Champions. Obviously, Imperium after getting challenged by uh, The Miz and Logan Paul, sort of, you got to accept that challenge, really. You can't shy away. <laughs> well, I feel like they probably feel a little bit insulted, really, that these guys are absolute ring mat generals. Challenged by a social media star and a former reality TV star in The Miz. Yeah, it's a... Um... Oh... But dirty Let's tricks there from The Miz. The Miz knows his way around the ring. <laughs> Very true. Very true. And uh, we've seen good things from uh, Logan Paul recently. He has stepped up. He's made a bit of an impression. Yet to find any success in the singles division. They've found a kindred spirit in The Miz. They've teamed up. And I've seen on numerous occasions... Tag stars try to make it on their own as single stars, not always successful. But in the case of Angelo the, Dawkins uh, earlier this evening. <laughs> yes, yeah, I mean, I'm not sure what will come of that. It was obviously an on title match, but anything can happen here on SmackDown. And a pinfall over a champ is certainly a good way to get your name noticed. This looks to carry a very large invisible basket. <laughs> I believe that is the big balls taunt. Ah, okay. <laughs> and now preventing uh, Kaiser from making the tag. Smart move by uh, Miz and Paul here. Isolating one member of Imperium. Mike and Paul. They're just your dad's mates at the pub, aren't they? Just... Yeah. <laughs> Who are you going pub with later? Oh, oh just... Mike and Paul. Mike and Paul. <laughs> Up to pub with Mike and Paul. <laughs> That is the episode title, Mike and Paul. <laughs> Mike and Paul, your dad's mates. <laughs> your dad's mates from the boozer, you know. <laughs> you know, Mike, drives a taxi on the weekday. <laughs> He's the geezer that can drink five Stellas 
in four minutes flat. No word of a lie. I saw, I see him do it. <laughs> yeah, Mike. Mike will back me up. Yeah. <laughs> As uh, Mike looks to uh... <laughs> take it on Giovanni and Ludwig. <laughs> <laughs> Not the guys from up the pub. <laughs> They're going to come out next week with a Brexit flag. <laughs> <laughs> leave, leave, leave. <laughs> you take your like... bald head, you fuck off. <laughs> I like your beer, but I don't like you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like mm. your beer, but I don't like you. Oh, God, they've even got the high vis from working on the building site. <laughs> yeah. Oh. That's uh... it, I'm going to change their attire. They're going to come out in high vis and hard hats next week. Never mind the Pokemon cards. <laughs> <laughs> Giovanni Vinci looking to uh, remain in control. Paul with it scouted. It's a, uh, a somewhat subdued Imperium here, not the same luster that we normally see. Well, we've seen the longer matches go, the more it favours them. Perhaps that the wind is true. Taking out their sails a little bit after watching the, their leader get taken down by the Legend Killer. But we mustn't Ooh. discount Giovanni Vinci. We've seen how successful he can be in singles competition. That is very true. He and has been a... Uh sort of a breakout as he sits there unconscious <laughs> <laughs> Go on, she had one job <laughs> but Kaiser very much the glue that holds it all together I would say true you know, when they he's seem to be uh... crumbling he's the man that steps up you know when Gunter disappeared he got the work experience in didn't necessarily go well for the work experience no but, but he tried new things and getting the band back together they haven't really lost since. No, Which is what made the loss true. last week so more shocking. Yeah, obviously they uh been on a winning form since war games. Guys are thinking about the high risk manoeuvre, but quick tags there. Mike and Giovanni. <laughs> Mike and Giovanni. <laughs> <laughs> Miz missing again. <laughs> Giovanni showboating. Can't let that hubris go to their head. Yeah, they're the champions, but only as long as they can maintain. Big power bomb there from the Miz. Not looking for the pin. Vinci just looking taking his time. Looking for a tag, but partner's still down. Finding the space. Vinci throwing him back into the ring. You've got to stay on top of Imperium. You give them this breathing room, and they will—they'll come back at you quick. They've got great stamina for a team. They'll just ever so slowly pick you apart, so they've learned from the best. Yep. And here Kaiser. we see the... Uh, here we see the difference in the team's ability. Obviously, Imperium sticking to the strategy of tagging in and out. The uh, team of Miz and Logan. <laughs> They're Mike really and Paul. <laughs> Mike and Paul, sorry. <laughs> they've not really gelled as well as they needed to. The only thing that's gelled about them is their hair. <laughs> yes. <laughs> As Vinci looks for the Italian whip into the camera. Yep. Fucking Logan Paul in 3D. <laughs> He's coming out of the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure we just saw his foot fly past the camera again as well. All of a sudden we'll see that Pokemon card just fly in front of the camera. Just fuck it. Yeah. Miz firmly in control here as uh, guys that held up in the tree of woe. Benji uh, distracted on the outside of Logan Paul. Yeah. He is looking to. Uh, All we can see is that someone is stunned on the outside. All we can assume is that uh, Paul has run into Gunter as the stunned bar is just bouncing from. I'm just picturing yeah. Giovanni Vinci and Gunter playing ping pong with Logan Paul. Vinci, for someone fuck's sake. To, uh, <laughs> tell Vinci. <laughs> someone tell Vinci to get off the hard cam. <laughs> Miz continues to uh, do that. As there's Gunter's head. I feel like the camera is glitched a little bit. It's awfully close to the ring. Yeah, we're really in the action. <laughs> yep, yeah, getting 
Getting up close and personal. Yeah, it's following the action. Miz just, <laughs> just Giovanni walks on the up head. to him. So Miz seizes his opportunity a little bit, but Vinci bringing him down a peg or two. Going to cheering them on. Kaiser looking to uh, regain momentum now. The Miz is a strong component in singles competition. I don't know how well he's doing in tag. True. He had a very brief spell in the singles division, but then he seems to be looking for success in all the wrong places. Yep. And uh, looking for the pin. This could be it. Guess the rope, the rope break. break though. The ring awareness of the Miz. We we can't count the Miz out. He's a former champion and all. Very true. Very true. So he's saying that Paul is the weak link. No, no. I'm just saying that they're not <laughs> gelling well as a uh, as a unit. Don't seem to be, but that might be precisely the thing that's going to throw Imperium off. They're used to tag teams being tag teams. They're not really used to taking on two singles guys. True. Case in point, as Vinci just misses his kick. Things about the springboard. No and one there. Off with a completely wrong person. <laughs> Someone taking to tell that Mike. I'm going home. Yep. So Kaiser oh, going to pin it out. Suplexed into the ref. A tag there that Vinci appears to have missed. Maybe, maybe not taking these two seriously enough. Logan Paul looking for the three amigos, channeling the spirit of Eddie. Eddie did it better, but true. Another one of your dad's mates. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Eddie. <laughs> right. So trip to Prague. It's. Mike, Paul, and Eddie. <laughs> and Ludwig. <laughs> we're going to get to Gatwick. We're going to get on the beers. Oh, you know, spoons. he's the uh, the exchange student. You know, he's over. He's visiting me lad. <laughs> Jaden. <laughs> <laughs> Logan Paul with a frog splash on Giovanni Vucci. Gunter. Oh, no, it's Ludwig. It I thought it was Gunter for a moment there. Yeah. Maybe not time to celebrate just yet, Paul. you got to think that was the uh, one and only chance that they had to get the pin there, but... Logan Paul needs to focus here. Too busy looking for his next big social media spike. Yeah, yeah. Wants to concentrate. He's close. Vinci is separated close. from Kaiser at the minute, and that could be a decider. It's what they need to do, Paul confused about where he needs to be <laughs> really needs to think about distracting Kaiser and getting away from it as Miz from the second rope drop kick Vinci just misses swats him away too much showboating from the uh from prime time pool here. yep and it's I think it's slowing their momentum but they have still got Giovanni Vinci separated from Ludwig Kaiser bringing him down but this is the thing people always get wrong about Imperium. They think Vinci's the weak link. He turns out to be the, the dark horse. Vinci is a extreme powerhouse. And there it is. The, that's the tag team you're up against. Always there to defend one another. As Vinci with the crossbody. I'd say the joke's on the rest of the division, though, because there is no weak link in Imperium. Definitely not. Definitely not. I mean, you saw there the distraction of the Kaiser drawing Paul in while Giovanni Vinci set up. Thinks about taking out the Miz but Miz has it scouted. Miz ready for it. And not enough Paul. We know how much those Ooh, tag team kick. championships mean to Imperium and how hard they will fight for them. Perhaps they weren't expecting such a challenge from Mike and Paul. It's been a... You almost don't think that... Uh... Mike Paul should have lasted as long as they have. There's been a lot of showboating, a lot oh. of uh, confused momentum and movement around the ring. But this whole awesome momentum the job looks done. to looks to take take out Ludwig Kaiser, but he has it scouted. It's almost this chaotic approach that uh, Mike and Paul have gone in with. It's kind of confusing, Imperium. He manages to connect now, taking out Ludwig Kaiser with Vinci on his own. Could this be the opening? With Miz distracted. 
The power bomb could be all she wrote. Pull with the save. You gotta think we're Paul not there. That would have been it. Could have been. we've seen Vinci oh. put away a lot of people. As my controller decides controls to turn itself die. off. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies for technical difficulties. Yeah. I've seen Vinci put away a lot of people with that move. But usually, if they do kick out, it's not long before you find something else to put them away with. Big old suplex. Looking to get into. Big old slam. Going for another cover. Cool, going to break it up in uh, time. Just. In the nick of time. Kaiser now looking to run interference. Isolating the social influencer on the outside. Grunter getting Miz back up to his feet so Vinci can take him down and that is the difference maker with Imperium gotta think they're closing in on the victory now Paul Kaiser just unloading on Paul Vinci to the top rope elbow to the back of the Miz Paul busted open on the outside is busted open on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> and here it is. Here's that game plan of Imperium. They wear their opponents down. They can go for the long match. They can take the punishment and dish it out. Bust the opponents a... open. Just when they think they got the advantage, they snap. But Miz has it scouted. Once again, you cannot count out the Miz. Skull crushing <laughs> finale, finale to Giovanni Good Vinci. This Good this on the roof. The, the distraction from the ring general, uncharacteristic shenanigans there. Not usually their MO. Oh, but again, a, a skull crashing finale from the Miz. This could be it. Kaiser, Kaiser the, the difference maker, as a bloodied Logan Paul stalks his way to Kaiser. They fight on the hard <laughs> cam. They get the fuck out of the way. Block it. <laughs> <laughs> Both men confused in the ring, missing their drop kicks as he locks in the punches, potentially busting open Giovanni Vinci there. And he's now trying his best. As we are at a five star match, ladies and gentlemen. Who would have expected this from Mike and Paul? <laughs> Miz with the it kicks. Could this be it? Your dad's mates from the boozer could be the ones. Kaiser's busy pummeling Paul, not seeing As the, the Miz pin. and the <laughs> new they have tag done it. team champions, Mike Kaiser was, and Paul. <laughs> Kaiser was too busy turning Paul's face into a soup bowl to realise. <laughs> <laughs> what a match. And words escape me. Words escape me. Clearly, Imperium... Didn't. Unable to uh, deal with the uh, eclectic Paul, style of uh, Mike and Paul. And Clearly, they didn't think of them much, pub, much of a threat. The gold. Second week in a row where Imperium take a loss. The third and team. Big loss that was. They lose the gold. I feel for the first time all season, really. The Imperium no longer hold championship gold and are not really in the running for it either. What? What does this uh, mean on the road to WrestleMania? What does this mean? What does it mean? Well, next time we'll out, we out. will be at the Elimination <laughs> Chamber. So we've got some things to sort out there. We've got tag divisions to sort out. I look forward to what comes next. And I, I hope no you words. do too. <laughs> <laughs> we'll catch you next episode, folks. See you then. Bye.